everyone welcome to this update video i hope you're doing really great this morning we're going to be taking a look at what is going on across the north atlantic so there is that system that trough which was bringing a lot of rain to the caribbean still seeing some thunderstorms especially in the vicinity of uh, the dominican republic but aside from that and a tropical wave which is propagating towards the west there isn't anything really notable right now in the region so as we zoom into the vicinity of that tropical wave there we can see a lot of convection in association with this and it should help to increase the rain for the guyanas and eventually the caribbean as we're going to be heading into the next few days so the eastern islands especially southeastern islands have been so hot and dry but thankfully with this tropical wave moving through the rainfall chance should increase and we're going to be taking a look at what the euro model has to show in terms of that and we'll also be looking at the wind forecast for today so let's get straight into it look into the rest of the caribbean here we can see so as i said there are still those thunderstorms moving through parts of the dominican republic but in the western caribbean it's pretty much dry and quiet right now not a whole lot of rain for some areas today and also for some areas in the east. So aside from that southwesterly flow due to that trough, there isn't anything else in the Caribbean region right now. But a couple of thunderstorms are noted within the vicinity of the southern Bahamas and even in the eastern Pacific, just along the coast of Guatemala, as we can see there. All right, so let's move on to the rainfall forecast for today and well today into early tomorrow and here we can see so some of the heaviest rain especially associated with the trough is going to be offshore a couple more showers may loiter around the southern bahamas turks and caicos cuba jamaica hispaniola puerto rico and the virgin islands as well much rain not expected today for the lesser antilles and abc islands it's been very dry in that area down there Northern South America for parts of Guyana, it may be uh, it may be pretty wet with rainfall amounts probably up to four inches or so in some spots. That's definitely some flood trigger and rain. So should you encounter any flood waters, please take the necessary precautions and stay safe. Parts of Venezuela, Colombia likely to be pretty active as well. Then go into Panama, Costa Rica, the coast of Nicaragua, the Pacific coast that is El Salvador. Guatemala, as we saw, there's some thunderstorms around, so the area is likely to be active near the Pacific coast. Much not expected for parts of Mexico, Belize, the Bay Islands, as well, and also for the Cayman Islands. It's been very dry, and there hasn't really been much substantial rain in the area. Now, as we take a look at the wind forecast, as you see more of these purple and these blue shadings popping up, that is indicating those uh, gusty winds. And so, as we go throughout today, it's going to be quite windy within the vicinity of the Yucatan. So for the Bay Islands of Honduras, Belize, it is going to be a windy day. Winds probably uh, well over 20 knots or so. And then in the southeast Caribbean, it's also likely to be windy for the ABC Islands and at times for the Lesser Antilles. But areas such as Jamaica, Cuba, the Cayman Islands, Hispaniola, parts of the Bahamas, not expected to experience those very windy conditions. And that is not so helpful, you know, provided uh, for some of these areas, there's not going to be a lot of rain. So it's, it's going to be a tranquil, warm day. And, you know, especially if you're in town, you're going around, it's going to get pretty hot. So please ensure that you guys uh, stay as hydrated as possible. I also need to do so. And, but I'll go into that tropical wave now. So this is our surface chart. And there we can see a tropical wave. That is the symbol uh, a little bit behind time here. So this would be a bit further to the west. But nonetheless, it is in the vicinity of French Guiana right now. And uh, as I showed you guys on the satellite imagery earlier, it is definitely producing some convection. Let's go back to it. And this is going to be helping to increase the rainfall chance for the Caribbean. So let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, rainfall accumulation forecast over the course of the next couple of days. So there we go. This is the accumulation. So this is as we head throughout today, going into tomorrow and Saturday, and then go into Sunday. There we can see uh, some of those more colorful shadings starting to show up for parts of the Lesser Antilles. So it would favor the Windward Islands. Further north to the Leeward Islands may not experience much at all from the tropical wave. So I would say anywhere from around uh, Martinique going southward to Grenada, including Barbados, Trinidad and Tobago may experience that rainfall increase due to the tropical wave. So that is a possibility for certain again as they're going to be kickstarting the new week. And Northern South America is going to be active. So a lot of rain is going to 
accumulate within that time frame there. But again, that tropical wave should help out with the rain, especially for those areas that have been very, very dry recently. And of course, I'll be keeping you guys posted on all that is happening. Now, I may make a second video today talking about Noah's breakdown for the hurricane season and what they are expecting. But that is it for right now. And I really do hope you found this update to be informative. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll respond to you when I get the chance to do so. And remember to always be weather wise.